What is going on guys? Today we'll be playing a game called The Red Stare. Now this game takes place in like the communist era and we are a spy trying to figure out who our neighbors are or who our neighbors are a communist. <laughs> and apparently I've been here for weeks because I got my pizza, I got my cigs and I'm not sure when, like when did that happen? Was it like, the, it was like the Cold War I guess so that was what? I'm gonna say 50s. My history, my history is not that great. But um, I think there's two different missions in this, which is really cool. And we'll do, um, we'll do both. So fax to confirm. This is how I fax. Instructions: receive fax. Insert paper. Send fax. So do I put it there and then push the button? There we go. So now the time's going. Which one are you commies? So I don't know. Oh, I guess I, I was like, I Good don't morning, know Agent. Doing. Hope you've settled in all right. Sorry about the mess, but your predecessor left in a bit of a hurry, and we couldn't leave this post unmanned. Did my now the last guy die? You're being thrown right into the middle of an operation. Take a good look outside, specifically the building across the street. See oh, the woman on the top people. floor? Her name's Norma. Norma's got a briefcase she'll be handing over to us. So you're gonna keep an eye on it. I'm gonna fax over the details on the situation. The fax machine should be on your desk. Press the left button to receive incoming messages. I'll be in touch. Who who has the package? I have completely lost the package. There's a bird. Alright, so we're gonna receive. Oh my gosh, there's two papers. Uh, suspect, Norma, known communist sympathizer, willing to give us intel in order to receive immunity. There's so much stuff going on. With with your predecessor gone, it's your job to monitor Norma dropping off the briefcase. Stay vigilant. Alright, this has got a shot. I don't know why this was open <laughs> to be with. It's me again. You've got the facts, right? Yeah. Make sure you keep that stuff organized. Oh, there's the briefcase. Pin the papers to the blackboard if you she want. She dropped it! Now, the gist of it is... Norma spills the beans and the commies in the building. We give her immunity in return. Or at least, we'll think about it. Norma hasn't been a very good patriot lately. <laughs> what you'll be doing is creating a record of Norma dropping off the briefcase we want, just in case something goes wrong. Give it a test. Norma should be in the parking lot with the briefcase right about now. So take a picture of her. The camera should be on the desk next to the fax machine. To use it, press the red button or the button near your thumb. Oops. Once you've got a good picture, send it over using the right button on the fax. It's super janky. Okay. Do I just click? Dude, I've always kind of wanted one of these cam uh, cameras. Alright, so we got Norma. So, communist spy, informant sympathizer? I guess we think she's a sympathizer? I couldn't remember what she said. Hello again. I got ah. your picture. Looks like you've got the hang of it. So here's oh, the plan. Norma. Norma's gonna dead drop the briefcase in the parking lot. We'll be picking it up ten minutes later so we don't raise any suspicion. You'll be monitoring proceedings. Keep your eyes locked tight on that briefcase. If anything out of the ordinary happens, I want you and your camera to be all over it. So Norma went to the top floor up there. Hey. Don't make me take a picture of you. It's me. I've got another agent nearby. According to them, someone's heading into the parking lot, and they're not with us. Keep an eye out. Make Is sure they're guy? not getting near that briefcase. Hey. Oh my gosh! Freaking Norma died! Do I take pictures? Informants. Norma! <laughs> Before and after Norma. <laughs> this is kind of cool. I just now realized that this is a window, and in real life, my real window is right here. <laughs> what? Seriously, stop hanging up. I didn't this hang is up. important. As I was saying, what the hell just happened? <laughs> Wait, take pictures and fax me everything. Damn it. He was just like, I just said, don't hang up on me. What just happened? Take pictures. <laughs> um... So, 
he got the briefcase, and Norma died. <laughs> I think he's an informant. Hey, I want my picture. So do I just? <laughs> I wonder where the. Looks like you caught the briefcase thief in the act. Nice shot. Now we just need to find out who this guy is. Are we not worried about Norma? Getting a clear picture of the crime scene. Damn. It doesn't look like we'll be getting any more information out of Norma. Anyway, we'll go over the picture and see what we can figure out. Right. I think we got what we need. Damn. What a disaster. <sighs> well, welcome to the team at any rate. Get back for now. <laughs> I'll let you know when we've got your next assignment. Gosh dang it. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? He went in that building. Wait, is that him on that floor? Dude, Hello again, stop agent. calling. After a fiasco from the other day, I've got some good news. One of our agents has successfully infiltrated a building and is posing as a communist. Of course, you need to know who it is too. Take a look at the case file on your desk. Your predecessor put it together with all the info she gathered on the building's red, inhabitants. Right? But recent events have made it a little... outdated. Compare the notes to the people you can see now, figure out who doesn't belong. And you've got our undercover agent. Consider this a bit of a test for you. Once you've figured out who it is, snap a picture of them and send it over to me. I'll send you the assignment by fax as well. Good luck. Okay, so I have to figure out... Gosh, there's so much stuff. Okay, let's just put this down. So one of our agents infiltrated the building in front of us. Access a picture of them to make sure you know who it is. Use the suspect info folder on the desk. It contains information about heaven to the building, but will not contain our agent as they arrive. Our agent will be wearing red clothing. So that's what I thought. I thought it was her when she walked in. How do I... How do I open this? <laughs> How do you open it? Oh, there it goes. The su this contains basic information on suspects organized by apartment they inhabit. Pull down the drawing on the blackboard for more information. Freaking sweet. Okay, so... Felicia and Elise share apartment one. Both, both mostly wear green. I still think it's the one right here. I only see one green guy. Unless the one's green. Oh, there's a guy in red right there, and there's another one right up there. Okay. Apartment two is shared by Bernard and Curtis. Bernard generally wears red. Curtis wears a denim jacket. Who? Apartment two. Oh, this guy. So he wears red. I can't see him. Is that denim? It looks like leather. All right, we're just going to say it's him. Darwin and Ike live in apartment three. Darwin is fond of blue shirts and likes to wear red-brown jackets. Whoa, 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 whoa. Darwin and Ike. Oh, and Ike likes to wear red brown jackets, so they're good. Arnold and Norman occupy part four, both usually wearing their working clothes. They're not even up there. Uh, yeah, there's no one in, oh wait, there's one. I'm going to just guess that this is him. Grace likes to wear red. Larry wears gray shirts. Ooh. Tend to be loud. Haley and Jeanette like it off more blue, although Jeanette is mainly clothed in darker blue. Okay. So. Wait, is that. Is that her? Wait, was, wasn't Carla 
Okay, hold on. So, oh, that doesn't work. So we have Carla. Wait. Bernard, Darwin, and Ike, Arnold, and Norma, Grace, Larry, Haley, and Janet. So who's, I guess Carla's the, is she the girl? Carla's a patriot. Nice job. Looks like you found our inside <laughs> woman, Carla. She's already given us a lot of intel in a short amount of time she's been in there. This evening, Carla will be meeting with a couple of Reds. I'll give you the details later. Oh, before I go, make sure you keep a record of every clue you collect on each of our suspects. We define them as good patriots, commie sympathizers, informants, and of course the spy. If you do the same, it should give you a good overview of the case. Take a rest for now. If you feel like time's going by a little too slowly, take a good close look at the clock. It's a good way to kill time. Okay. So do I need to take a picture of this person? This is Felicia. So we're gonna... We're gonna put Norma over here, because Norma... Well, Norma was a patriot, wasn't she? And so we got the briefcase guy, and then we got Felicia. How am I supposed to organize these when I don't know who's who? <laughs> Get a freaking cigarette? I don't condone this at all. I actually hate smoking. Um, oh, the thumb! You can actually see... Where are you guys at? You can see the thumb. Whoops. You can see the thumb move. That's pretty cool. This is burning out. Ah! <laughs> is that gonna catch on fire? All right, so. Dude, there's so many people. So Carla is talking to the red person, or the green person. Can I order pizza? Nice job. Looks like you found our inside woman, Carla. I did. She's already given us a lot of intel in a short amount of time she's been in there. This okay. evening, Carla will be meeting with a couple Four. of Reds. I'll give you the details later. Oh, Eight. before I go, make sure you keep a record of every clue you collect on each of our suspects. Eight. We define them as good patriots, commie sympathizers, Two. informants, and of course the spy. If you do the same, it should give you a good overview of the case. Six. Welcome to... Jenga pizza. Oh, it worked! To order a mushroom pizza, say mushroom. For a cheese pizza, say cheese. For pepperoni, say nothing. Pepperoni it is. Yeah! Your pizza will arrive shortly. So I wonder if there's a, a real one actually coming here. I guess these are the developers? Yeah. I got achievement. The dinner time. Um, you guys are way outside of my boundary. All right, we're going for it. Ow, I hit the desk. Everything went black. Oh, that's not. Oh, the pizza's here. Oh, that's freaking sweet. You can actually see it steaming. <laughs> I forget about the whole game, but she's still just chilling. So we got pizza, pizza. Okay. I need paper. That's not gonna work. Is there's no paper around here? <laughs> Day forty-five. Carla still hasn't moved from her position. She's still talking to the girl in the red green dress. There's nothing in here. What do you want? Hello, Agent. Remember that meeting Carla's organizing? 
It's happening in the alleyway next to the building. <coughs> Apparently, it's a popular spot for the Reds. They meet there frequently and make sure to keep anyone who isn't involved out of there. Keep a close oh, look. I'll send over the relevant <coughs> intel Carla's been able to collect by fax. You keep your eyes glued to that alley and get me pictures of all the people Carla's meeting with. Got it. Alright. So, we need a picture of... Whoa. Good neighbor is worth more than that. Alright, so we got Curtis. We have Carla again. And... We got Elise. So... Are there more people? All right, we're gonna we're gonna fax these to him. <laughs> ah, no, I need my pictures. Okay, so we have informants. Wait, we need to send Elise. I got a picture from you. Looks good. Make sure you get a shot of everyone. Carla said there'd be three people other than her at the meeting. I just said three! You gonna call again? You can have some more pizza. Yeah, we got these. So which one did you just saw? saw. So do you need to see this one again? Alright, there's Curtis. Maybe Cindy Lee's? Oh wait, Carla's... I messed up. Great! Oh, Carla is the informant person. She is our... She's our person talking, so she's the norm... Okay, I got it! <laughs> it's a Grace. She also talked to Felicia. Great job, Agent. Oh, We've captured go? all those red mugs nicely. I'll check in with the higher-ups to see how they want us to proceed. For now, it's a job well done. So nice. kick back. Talk to you soon. Can I actually kick back? Wait, what? Use the information provided. Find one of the informants. Make sure Carla knows who it is. The informant meets with all this info either on the roof or in the alley. Watch this spot. See who meets. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, no! Anyway. Elise and Curtis. Is it Elise and Curtis? I'm so confused. Make sure you get a picture of the informant to Carla or her disguise and potentially her life will... What? Make sure you get a picture of the informant to Carla. Oh, they're walking away. How do I get this to Carla? I sent a fax. These two guys beat Matt. Do they beat on the roof? It's so much lighter in the camera than it is. This is a really good camera, it's low light. They met, do I, did I do something wrong? Wait, what did this say? Uh, like this. Use the information provided, find one of the informants and make sure Carla knows who it is. If one meets with all their sunfires, either on the roof or in the alley, watch the spot, see the who meets with everyone. We had the guys that meet down there, right? Who's coming out? Shut up, dog! I have dogs at my own apartment, like, all the time. I'm not sure who to do. What this do? Oh! While, they, while we're waiting on this thing, I fixed my janky, like, Remember, it was in one of the videos, I broke this off? 
like I broke the rope and uh, I just tied it back on there. So it's like, <laughs> it's not like this one anymore where you see the slack, it's just like super tied to it. <laughs> it's like, oh well. Listen up, we don't have much time for this one. Carla has been bluffing her way into the communist organization until now, but she's overplayed her hand. We need to identify one of the communist informants and let Carla know who it is, or her cover will be blown. So she's gathered a lot of information on one of the informants. Long story short, keep a close eye on the roof and the alley. And, actually, just take a look at what we faxed over. Get a picture of the informant and fax it to us once you're sure about it. We only have one shot at this, so keep your eyes peeled. Yeah, so it sent us that one already. <laughs> I'm just building up a pile of paper. So we need to watch the roof. See, I think it's Curtis and Elise. They met in the alleyway. I guess it means just that roof, not that roof. Is that Carla? Who are you? This is Darwin. Darwin, you're fishy, man. Alright, we're gonna leave you there. Is this Carla? No, this is Grace. I swear it's her. I'm telling you, it's them. Alright, I already took those pictures. Yeah, I think it's them. The day's far from over. If you ask me, you should wait till evening to make sure you've got the right person. How do I get it to Carla? Carla! Take the picture! Oh crud, there's another person! <laughs> no, Carla! The people, the person's right there! Carla! I want to take a picture of the bird. Freaking trying to take a picture. Uh, pigeon! <laughs> it's freaking awesome. I'm telling you, man. It's freaking Elise and Curtis. They're, no! They must keep the green chalk. Huh? So I wonder if they're gonna go to the roof. Oh crud, we have a new person. Who are you? Jeanette. Oh, Jeanette and Elise! It's Elise! She's the one! She's the one! It's freaking Elise, man. It's freaking Elise. You freaking commie. It's Elise! I know it is! She's the freaking commie spy. I just punched the door. The day's far from over. Oh no! If you ask me, you should wait till it. Larry and Curtis. Oh no! It's me. I'm gonna have to ask you not to hang up while I'm talking. Oh, shut it. Anyway, <laughs> listen up. We don't have much time for this one. Carla has been bluffing her way oh into the gosh. communist organization until now, but you. she's overplayed her hand. We need to identify one of the communist informants oh, and let Carla know who it is, or her cover will be blown. She's gathered a lot of information on one of the informants. Where did they leave this picture go? Keep a close eye on the roof and the oh, alley. Here. And, actually, just take a look at what we faxed over. Get a picture of the informant and fax it to us once you're sure about it. We only have one shot at this, so keep your eyes peeled. If I get it wrong, Carla's gonna die. Oh, no. Who's in the diner? Dude, I'm telling you, it's Elise. Because Elise met with Grace now. Yeah, so Elise... No! No! Yeah. So... 
I, I swear it's Elise, man. Because Elise met with Jeanette. All of these met with... Oh, wait, Grace met with... Elise also, and Curtis met with Larry. They left. If Elise goes on the roof and talks to Larry, then that's it. She, it's got to be her. Because Carla was in the middle of these, so Carla met... Where the freak is Carla? Yeah, Carla is... Where did everyone go? They all like went out to go get something to eat. Oh, the lights come on. Okay. But yeah, so those three met at the originally. And then Curtis met with Larry. But Curtis and Elise met. But Elise also met with Jeanette and Grace. And oh no. She just met with Larry. And it's Elise. Elise just met with with them. Yeah, it's it's totally Elise. She's so the freaking spy. All right, let me get this picture. No, yeah, it's her. I'm telling you, man. It's the, it's her. Come on. Are you positive this is the informant? Yes. You better be, because Carla's life may depend on it. Now, it's her, Carla man. has made it clear today that she suspects her phone is being tapped, so we weren't sure how to get this info to her. We've decided we're not going to, but you are. Here's the plan. Throw Carla's going to make a stop outside your window tonight. Drop the picture out the window while she's you, there to make sure she that. gets it. Good luck. Carla! Come get your picture! Where'd she go? Dude, if there's like a sniper in this thing, it'll be totally awesome. Not that, I mean, you know, sniping someone is awesome. She's coming down. Um, This game, I like it. It's so good. It's different than most most other stuff. See, I was talking about how it's so much brighter now. Girl, it's it's Elise. Wow, she got that right on. It would be better if they if it disappeared. Like if once she walks over to it and touches it, it just that that object goes away. Where is she going? She's like going up the stairs. Oh, you might as well eat some pizza. This is probably super cold now. Can I eat a whole pizza? Ugh, just like a fat butt. <laughs> Ugh. Why does it be like an achievement to eat everything? No, this thing's still steaming. Nope. Nothing like that. I like the chalk. It allows you to like draw and stuff. I have no idea where Carla went. I lost track. Is she up there? <laughs> I hope it's not Carla. No! Turn off! Yeah. Dude, I got me some suede shoes. Can I reach that hat? It's way outside of the thing. No! Ah. Nope, I can't. They won't let me touch it. Carla! Is there a way I can speed up time? Oh, you can. You just look at the clock. All Boom. right. I believe Carla should be meeting with the informant right now. Let's hope this all goes smoothly. I think that's, I think that's her on the second floor. She's going... She's right there. What? No. Where's she going? Oh! She's coming down here. Oh, freak. It's about to be a shootout. Get away, pigeon. How does she come out through there? Why do you have your back to her? What do you want? You want a picture too? Here, you can have one. Am I supposed to do something? Look at the clock. How long are you going to talk? Congratulations on a job well done, Agent. Carla's still walking among the Reds, so I assume the picture you gave her helped her to win their trust. 
We've been looking over the intel she's given us. I'll call you back soon to disclose some of it. <laughs> she's a keeper? That's the name of the, the achievement. They just disappear. You turn around for one second? I love that this is a free-to-play game. Oh, crap. Good day, Agent. We've got some useful information for you. Apparently the commies avoid being in a diner in greater numbers than patriots. They don't want us to catch them by surprise in there. If you see any commies visiting the diner, maybe you can use it to rule out some of the other people in there as good patriots. So if they visit the diner, then they're good? Maybe? This is like overtaking everything. This guy, who are you? We got Darwin over here. He's gonna get the Darwin Award. We got Arnold. We got Bernard. Holy cow. We got Curtis. Oh my gosh. We got Ike. What are you guys all lining up in there for? The counter is over here. All right. Is that everyone? So I guess all these guys are patriots. <laughs> I've done like filled up my board. What did Felicia do again? Oh, that was just the one she was talking to. So I think these are fine. I like my pigeon. I'm gonna put that over there. Is anyone else coming there? I don't think so. The pigeon's a communist! <laughs> I like how this thing has like infinite ammo. Infinite ammo. Infinite pictures. Can I take a picture of the developers? Whoa, not crotch pick. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't know. Well, he said that you couldn't rule them out. They just didn't tend to like to be in there, I guess. There will always be more patriots than communists in the diner. Oh, man. So... Are one of those three left then? So, Darwin, Bernard, and Curtis. Ah, Curtis still might be a, uh, I love the physics on this thing. Why are they all like standing around? Am I supposed to be waiting on something? Let's speed up time. <laughs> okay. So there will always be more pages kind of kind of be or afraid to get surprised by us. This can be used to rule out others in the diners as patriots. If you see three people in the diner and know one of them is a communist, the other two must be patriots. Else there would be more communists than patriots. You do not need to fax anything today, just add your own notes and you'll be called in the evening. Only fax if you manage to take a picture of something suspicious. So, there's a ton of people here. Like, Arnold, you're, you're on the suspicious side, dude. There's three people down there. Alright, so... I need more room! Alright, so we had the, the, this meeting with Grace, Curdy, and Ellis. We've got the briefcase. Carla is the informant. And Norma's dead. <laughs> so, alright, I don't put this down, it's hurt my hand. <laughs> okay, so we got. This is weird. Um, it 
least met with Jeanette, Grace, and Larry. Larry also met with Curtis. Um, I think Grace, well, no, she met with Grace there. All right, so. Dude, this is so confusing because, you know, I'm gonna send a picture to Arnold. Evening. Remember the briefcase Norma was supposed to deliver to us? Looks like it's resurfaced. Carla spotted someone walking around with it. She did a bit of investigating and found it'll be delivered to an informant tomorrow evening. Not the same one from before. We know there are only two informants in this group, so this will be a great opportunity for you to identify the other one and help us get that briefcase back. I'll gather up all the info we have on the target and fax it to you in the morning. This is so confusing. I guess that's Carla. So Carla's up top. There's Felicia. Do I, am I like supposed to take a picture of like everyone? It's Curtis. Darwin. Arnold. Arnold again. Jeanette. That's a lot of people. Oh, I just hit the wall. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure. So we have. I don't think Ike. I don't think Ike is a. Uh, I think he's a good guy. So one of these three. Arnold just was fishy. All right, Arnold was fishy. Um. I want to move this up. So I think I don't understand the difference between spy informants and um, so we have these three that she met and Curtis met with Larry. I think I is fine. Dude, I think Curtis, I think Curtis is the other one. So that makes me think that Darwin and Bernard are patriots. Maybe? I don't know. Arnold maybe? Hello again, Agent. I've got some new information for you. It looks like the commies are planning something big. Everyone is getting restless. It seems sympathizers won't be heading into the alley alone anymore. So if you see a loner in the alley, you know they're either an informant or the spy. We also faxed over some information we found in Carlos' notes, which might be useful. As it is faxed to you, read it back at your own pace. The important thing is still to keep an eye on a briefcase. Locate it by the end of the day and we'll work on getting a copy of the contents. Additionally, since they plan to deliver it to the informant, we'll know where the informant lives. Good luck. Okay, so apparently I need to wipe that alley. The briefcase is going to be delivered to an informant. Keep an eye out for it. Fax a picture of where you of it when you found it. Both informants live with a patriot. Use this to rule out suspects. Oh my gosh. The spy and informants are now ensuring they're in the alley before a sympathizer. Ensuring they're in the alley before a sympathizer. So anyone seen alone in the alley is either an informant or the spy. Okay, so the sympathizers are the ones, or I don't take them off because that's going to confuse me. Can I speed up time? Oh, well, let me speed up time. Because we have, I think Elise and Curtis 
Well, Curtis can be a sympathizer. I think there's a spy, there's two informants, and who the freak do we have here? Ike! I thought Ike was a good guy! Oh my gosh, I like Ike. Well, that's out of the water. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, then I could have figured out who was good. Oh, crud. Dang it. <laughs> I wish I could rewind time. All right, so you're a sympathizer. Larry, what? That blows that out of the water. Holy cow. What, did he have the briefcase? Who had the briefcase? All right, we got Jeanette. We got Darwin over here. You're fishy, woman. Grace. All right, Grace. Uh, my whole my whole theory is debunked. Who? Who could be? All right, we got Curtis again. Curtis is freaking fishy. All right, why did you walk over there and not do anything? I guess that's not technically the ally. Ally, Grace, Grace, you're fishy. Where are you going? So one of these is a spy again. They're not a spy. That's what I was saying. I'm confused at the gosh, freaking pigeon. I missed. This video is probably going on forever, I'm sorry. But I thought it was going to be a lot shorter. I found the briefcase! Larry! You freaking scumbag! Larry! Oh my gosh, I'm so confused. Have they got the briefcase? Good eye, Agent. I lost Make it. Make sure you see where they drop it off. Crud! Where'd he go? Larry dropped it off to Grace? Crud, 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 crud. Where did he drop it? Oh, he's freaking slop! Where did he go? Oh, I can't go outside of there. No, 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 wait. If Larry drops it off at Grace, that means Grace is good. Where did he go? All right, I'm going to take a picture of him right here. Yeah, it just shows Larry right there, so... Have you located the briefcase yet? We can't set up an operation unless we know where to go. Please fax it to me as soon as you find it. Where did the briefcase go? I can't see anything! Did I fail the mission? Oh! There it is! Wait, wait, wait. Who's that with? Mike. Fred, I swear, man. I had the briefcase. Nice job, Agent. This confirms the briefcase to be in apartment 3, which means one of the inhabitants of that apartment must be an informant. Before we attempt to get information from the briefcase, make sure you figure out which one of the two inhabitants it is and fax us a picture of them. We have no way of confirming this ourselves, so take a look at your notes, take a moment to think it through, and make sure it's right. Good luck. Uh, who lives... 
Who lives in that apartment? What? Arnold and Norman. Darwin and Ike. So Darwin is clear. Ike is an informant. We still don't know who the spy is. Larry, Larry is freaking fishy, man. All right, so we took a picture of Ike. I think it's Ike. Because I'm pretty sure this is right. All right, we'll note us down as one of the informants. Now, we're preparing an operation to figure out what's inside the briefcase. We should be ready to do that tonight. I'll let you know when it's about to happen. So we're going to speed up time, or I thought we could. Oh, okay, maybe not. The operation is going to start. <laughs> I'll let you know when we receive the information from the briefcase. Okay. Speed up, please. Just like twist it. Woo. I'm going to have like the biggest red line on my face. Whoa, we got like a freaking party going on. Haley? How have I not seen Haley this whole time? We got Jeanette. We got Ike. Ike's totally this informant. And we got Dolan. I need more freaking table space. Can I like not speed up time anymore? It's me. Mission accomplished but the results are terrifying. The evidence in that briefcase has some new intel on them, but the majority of the files are about us. They know everything that happened before you showed up. Your predecessor said she had a failsafe, but I never expected, oh well, never mind. Anyway, we need to get on top of this. With the amount of dirt they have on us, they could shut us down at any time. I need to make some calls. Just hang tight and I'll get back to you. Hello again, back. Agent. Well, it looks well, like this might be the point where we obviously. crack this whole thing <laughs> wide open. Since the Reds have an advantage on us, we want to strike first. Before anything else, though, send me a picture of the first informant, the one that met with Carla a while ago. We never actually got a picture confirmed for that. Afterwards, make sure to find that spy. Godspeed. Got it. Alright, so you want a picture of Elise. I got your picture of the informant. Now we know both of them. Next, make sure you get that spy. We don't know when the Reds might make their move. So we still never figured out who the spy was. Darwin is talking to Ike. She's being fishy. Let's just speed up time again. Like, when is that supposed stuff supposed to happen? Now? Nine o'clock? Oh, ho, ho. Where are you, Lise? What are you doing?
Oh, crud. Police met with Grace, Curtis, and Ike. So Ike and Elise are not it. So it's either Grace or Curtis. Crud. Comrades have a lot of information on us. We need to find the spot now. Fax pictures of the first informant after the fax the spy. Fax twice to confirm before it's too late. No patriots go in the alley. Go in the alley. Sympathizers won't be alone in the alley. Sympathizers won't be alone in the alley. Hi, this is Carla. We haven't spoken directly before, but you really saved my hide with that informant tip. I'm calling to let you know I've given your ah. number to someone in the building. She's going to call you with a tip soon. I'm not sure if it's legitimate or helpful, but it might be useful. Use it well. Um, hello? My name's Jeanette. I got this number from someone named Carla. Jeanette. She told me to call if I was ever in trouble or if something strange was going on. Uh, I've noticed my neighbor Bernard's been acting really weird lately. Bernard! I'm afraid he might be a communist. Uh, I have to go. Bye. She just turned everything upside down. I was like, oh, it's her. Great, just, oh my gosh. All right, Carla went in there. So Carla's good. We have Darwin. And then we've got Bernard. We thought Darwin was good because Darwin goes in there. Yeah, so Jeanette and Darwin. Darwin's good, so freaking Bernard. Ah! Have you found a spy yet? We're getting a bit on edge here, so we're already assembling a team for the operation. As soon as you've got our target, let us know. Freak. Okay. Um, so Ike and Elise met with Grace and Curtis. Did Curtis just go in there? Curtis did not. Curtis was here. We think these two were good. So Jeanette, Jeanette's fine. We think Darwin's fine. So Curtis? Did Curtis meet here? No, wait, here. Is it Curtis? Could it be Curtis? All the facts point to Curtis. Uh, uh, hello? It's Jeanette. I'm so sorry. They told me to set you on the wrong path. They've got my friend Haley, but I don't know if they'll really let her go. Please. You have to help her, please. It's getting hectic. So, I expect... Leave Grace. It's me. If we're going to send in our team, we need those pictures stat. Don't fail us now. We've got Haley up there. Dude, it's Curtis. It's Curtis. I, I'm going for it. It's Curtis. Curtis. It's me. I think you sent me the wrong picture. This can't be the spy. Make sure you get the right person. This what? is the hour of truth. Crud! The only other person was... Grace. What? No way! It's just like, you start having this flashbacks. Could it really have been her? Maybe? Well, I guess this is it. We've received your confirmation no. and we're preparing a team. I trust that you've given us the right target. I'll be in touch. It's me. The agents are moving in now. Keep a close watch. There's no way. 
Is that one Grace? Oh my gosh. Opera? Ah! I, I want to put this somewhere. No! I want to get a picture! Oh no. All right, we've apprehended the suspects. Let's just hope they're the ones we want. They were all in the alleyway. There's no way. Like, there's been some crazy, my brain hurts. So wait, they were here, the three of them were here again. It's me, I've got good news. One of the informants broke and spilled the beans. <laughs> they're complete amateurs. I can't believe we even considered them a threat. Well, pat yourself on the back, Agent. We couldn't have done it without you. This is it. We won this one. I couldn't have asked for a better agent in the field. Time to pack up, go home, and see if the real world is still out there. So long. Was it really Grace? I guess it was Grace the whole time? Whoa! Thank you. Make the boss proud. Thank you very much for playing the Red Stair, core team additional work. Speedy Spy? I got like three achievements so far. Yeah, we only got three. Dude! That was so crazy. Alright, so right here, we found out that Ike and Elise... Oops. Oops. <laughs> Ike and Elise were it. So, I really thought it was Curtis. Because Curtis was here, he was here. There was another time where Curtis was in there. I think it was the, fir the very first time. Yeah, there was, he was meeting here, and then there was another one where he was here. And I was like, it's like one of those like shows you watch all the time where it's like, this is the person, it's gotta be him, but it was Grace. Je uh, Je Jeanette was super innocent, Haley was super innocent, you barely even saw her. Wow. Yeah, they, it was really throwing me off, like, there were certain things that would be like, oh, this is actually the spy. And then it was like, so you found out that Elise was the spy, or, or the informant. Wait, let me, let me actually finish this up. Grace. Oh, I did have it up there. Um, but you thought that, you was like, oh, Elise was it. And then you go back to the other time where she was in that group, but you didn't know it at the time. It was just like, okay, here's four possibilities. But, oh my gosh. And there's another one, because there the, there's the second mission, too. So we'll have to do that again on another day. Um, I know that this video is super long. Oh my gosh, it's an hour long. So I'll have to try and cut that down some. Um, but yeah, I really like that. My face is probably super red. I can't, the light is doing the darkening thing on my, this side of my face, because there's no light over here. Um, I can turn this on. Oh, that's not going to help. <laughs> But anyway, guys, this has been the Red Stair. Tell me what you thought of it down below. Um, I, I really did like it. Uh, it was, you know, it's more of like a puzzle game. You're trying to figure it out. I can see the light blinking right there. But anyway, guys, this has been the Red Stair. My name is Schaefer Games. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep on playing.